face to face, please. You're done, you're finished, you're finished, you're finished, you've got the grip. Josh, you're done, you're finished. Come in, you little rat. You can see straight. I can see straight now, Louis, you're fucked. You missed. See you tomorrow, you big shit out. It's been a long time coming, we're finally here, obviously. It should have happened right away. I never go in emotionally attached, so yeah, it's just it's just business for me. He can say whatever he wants. I didn't choose the caption. Hate's a strong word. Do I hate him? No. Do I respect him? No. And I think the feeling's mutual, and until the fight's done, uh, I can't say hand on that I'm going to be his friend and shake his hand, but uh, right now he's my enemy, and I'm going to let him know me. I've had people come up to me and say, I thought he won the fight, which is great. It's fine. That's, that's your opinion. Great. I have absolutely no problem with that at all. But it's when the abuse starts and the other kind of stuff starts and then the family start getting it and you see how it affects them. That's a different kettle of fish when your family starts getting involved. You know, it's a sport. It's like nothing to do with me. The judges gave me the fucking decision and that was it, you know, so. But listen, I'm emotionally detached. This guy's riled up. You are all expecting me to be riled up. I ain't riled up. I know what I can do and I know what I can produce. I had two fights last year and I want to build on that this year and hopefully get maybe three fights this year. Ed, you're right. Oh, you're right. Good to you. You're good. It's a bit looking uh, slim, you are, mate. Yeah? Nice. I'm feeling good, mate. I'm all good. Nice. Been training for a long time, so. Yeah, yeah I'm feeling good, mate. Hi, how are you doing? Hey, mate, you're right. Mate. Good to no see you, mate. No bad, mate. No bad, mate. Just to let you know, I just said, I'm going to open and then I'm going to go to Sam, to Tom, to Jack, to you. Yeah. All right? Okay. Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to an uh, absolutely packed Intercontinental here in Edinburgh, and thanks for turning out. Blown away by the attendance here today. This has got a real old-school feel to it, the good old days of real British grudge matches. We're sat here, we're sat here because Jack beat him the first time. I genuinely... Go on, get it out, get it out, come on, get it out. Let's see your best your mouth, Jack! Listen, calm down, calm down. I can see the lure pack dripping out your head. Calm down, calm down. Relax, we're having a press conference. Calm down. Calm Have you ever met down. such a slag in your life as this guy? Calm you down. Hungry, man. Anyway, this is about me and Jack. This is about me and Jack. It's a fight about me and Jack. It's, it's took you a long time to get it's you in the ring, you. Josh. It's took a long time to get yeah. you in the ring. I know it has, yeah. I know it has. You expect to win this fight inside the distance? 100%. Yeah, without a shadow of a doubt, I'm coming in there to do damage. I just don't like this guy. I can't wait to smash his brains in. But the, what, what little brains he's got. And uh, yeah, can't wait. Face to face, please. You're, you're done, you're finished. You're finished, you're finished. You've got the grip. <laughs> you soft bastard. You're not fucking bad. You can't even see you. Josh, you're done, you're finished. Josh, you're done, you're finished. Come in, you little you can't rat. even see straight. Come on, come on, I can see straight you now, Louis, you're fucked. You yeah. missed? Yeah. <laughs> see you tomorrow, you big shit out. The guy's obviously riled up, tried to put his hands on me again, but yeah, he's riled up, but he's trying to wind me up, but he ain't got the brains to wind me up. This is hatred. This is pure hatred between two fighters from the teams, and that's why it's taken two years to make. To be under it yesterday, going up to Edinburgh, comes with the territory. Expected the booze, expect more cheers today. And my instruction to Sam was make the fight, don't matter whether it's at welterweight, uh, 144, 140 catch weight, it doesn't matter. Charlie! Charlie! You go first. Yeah, don't be ridiculous, mate. You're the Welcome to Manchester for part two of a slightly lively press conference ahead of the fight of the year, the British fight of the year, the rematch between Josh Taylor and Jack Catchell, April 27th in Leeds. But it's going to be a great fight and as I said yesterday, Jack Catchell is going to whoop Josh Taylor on April 27th. Well, bunch of mongrels, aren't they? They've said the, the England v Scotland narrative, but it's more of me just fighting the prick. He's just not a nice person. That's it. Did you think of that all by yourself, Jack? Did you think of that all by yourself? Huh? You look like a baghead. You get away from your crayons for a little bit. You look like a baghead. Hey, you're a little fucking one pea brain that you've got. <laughs> 
You've got one brain cell and you've got Jack not giving you the lines to say. You have to let me talk by yourself. Get back to your crayons. You all finished after this fight. Back to your crayons. He's never knocked out anyone in his life. No anyone credible. We've got anyway. the same amount of knockouts. You know what? You're just thick. The same amount of knockouts. 13 knockouts, yeah? Yeah, knockout, all right. Yeah. Good. Uh, nine weeks' time, we get to put him to bed. You hands to yourself this time. It was you who came to the nipples brain, yesterday. Your brain cord going turning, is it? The nipples yesterday. Your little brain cord going turning. You can't put your hands on me, you don't put your hands on me. Yeah. You finished. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Yeah, because spell finished. Spell it. That's all you're allowed to. Spell it. You don't have to be clever to beat you. You're finished. Can I get him back to fighting in leisure centres again, mate? Sad. We'll see. I don't like Sitter, you know, he's this, he's, I don't really care about him, I just don't like him. Get off here. Yeah. I've spent like five years with Jamie and Nigel now and I know how I can perform and I know I can be better. I've watched the fight from two years ago and I know even since then I've improved and I'm confident that I put an end to this, this rivalry in April. The, the British boxing fans deserve this fight, the fact that it's in, in the United Kingdom and Leeds is good. Watch my fight versus Josh Taylor, April the 27th, live on the zone. Beautiful. On the 27th of April, live on the zone, two fighters with a genuine hatred towards each other will finally settle their differences in the ring. This has got all the feelings of Quig Frampton, of Frotch Groves, of Hay Bellew. This is what British boxing needs right now. A great rivalry, a great fight, April 27 in Leeds. So whatever you do, don't miss it. Friday general sale, get ready for a British blockbuster, live on the zone, we're back baby.